Hello everybody, Average Joe Bourbon here tonight. Uh, going to do a Fresh Crack Friday. And I have last year's Parker's Heritage, the 11 year. Going to give it a whirl, give it a little taste. We have that right there. Beautiful, beautiful bourbon. I have had this before, uh, it's been a while. So, going to get some tasting notes for you tonight. The other one is supposed to be out, I do believe this month. I think it just came out, so. Looking forward to hopefully getting that. All right, the nose immediately rings some like honey, kind of like a honey butterscotch. Really smooth nose, a little bit of alcohol burn, a little bit of oak, and just a little nuttiness in there. Uh, let's see. Mm. Immediate butter mouthfeel, like creamy. Rings through kind of more of a vanilla now, more vanilla butterscotch. Finishes with a little tingle on the end of the nose. It actually brings a little cherry out there. Man, that's really good. I, I hadn't remembered exactly, but I knew I liked it. Man, that's really good. Uh, nose, honey, butterscotch, oak. Uh, just a little bit of nuttiness in it. Uh, very good nose. Uh, when you taste it, immediately coats your tongue. Really kind of creamy. Uh, more buttery is what I would say. Comes across uh, with vanilla butterscotch to a little bit of cherry at the end of the tongue. I'd say macadamia nut uh, is what I'm, what I'm tasting there at the end because it's got kind of that vanilla taste plus the, the, the peanut kind of mix in it. Uh, I'd say Brazilian nut, macadamia nut. Yeah, that's a solid. That's solid. That's that, I'm gonna give that a four. That's a very solid four to me. A nice little hug, but not a whole lot of burn in the mouth. Very smooth and easy to drink. Kind of dangerous. Uh, so again, four, four, four barrels. Not dessert in a cup, but really, really close. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having a great night here on Friday. Fresh Crack Friday, guys. Let me know what you're drinking tonight. Have a good night.